Hi kids, I'm Miss Hallie, and I'm going to show you a few yoga poses, some different stretches that you can do if you kind of feel like you just need to settle down a little, need to calm down if you're feeling unsettled or agitated or just crazy and it's time to go to bed. So these are some things you can do just to kind of settle down. So first you want to get a couple things from your house. You can get a chair. I've got my one of my boys' little kids' chairs here. I'm going to use a bigger one since I'm bigger than they are. So you can get a chair and maybe a couple of blankets that you can fold up so they're not in a big messy pile, but a couple of blankets to fold up. We're going to sit on those blankets and cross legs. So sitting crisscross applesauce like you might do at school. So first we'll sit up tall. Take a couple of deep breaths in and out. And when you take a deep breath, you're not, it's not like you're going to take a breath to jump into a, a swimming pool or a lake. You just want to just gently bring the breath up to the top of the chest and then let the breath go back down. And breathe in and out and then bring your palms together. So your hands are together and they're right in front of your heart and then close your eyes. We'll sit like this, with some full cross legs with our hands together, eyes closed, just to kind of get centered, feel the breath, and start to be able to pay attention to your breathing. And take a nice full deep breath in, and when you breathe out, bow your head down towards your hands, towards your heart. Take another breath in, and when you breathe out, rest your palms right on your legs, but keep your head down, and then slowly raise your head and open your eyes. All right, now sitting just like this, we're going to walk our hands forward. So walk forward, stay sitting on the blanket, but walk forward, and just look down at the floor right in front of your hands. Keep your breathing steady and even. And then walk your hands over to the right. Turning your body just a little, but keep sitting on the blankets. And then walk your hands back to the center and over to the left. So we're just turning the trunk. That's the, the sides, the back, the chest. Come back to the center and walk your hands back so you can sit up. And now we're going to change the cross of our legs. So one leg, you'll notice one leg is in front. So we're just going to bring that leg behind and put the other leg in front. And then you can sit up again. Start to walk your hands forward. And then again over to the right. Just keep your gaze down at the floor. Keep looking at the floor. Walk back to the center and then to the left. Come back to the center again. Walk your hands back so you can sit up and just stretch the legs out. And then we're going to sit back like that again. So cross your legs again. And now we're going to sit upright but twist. So you can turn, turn your body, bringing your one hand to your knee, the other hand behind you on the blankets you're sitting on. And that kind of helps you turn. And then just back and forth, slowly moving back and forth, turning one way and turning the other way. We'll do this a couple of times. When you breathe in, feel like you can lift up with your chest. When you breathe out, turn just a little more. So turn, breathe in and lift up, breathe out and turn a little more. And then we'll come back to the center. We have to change the cross of our legs again. So bring one leg forward and then back. And now we'll turn again. So just slowly, gently turning, having your hands on your knees, on the blankets behind you. And that helps you turn. This kind of slows us down, makes us think about our breathing. So one more time back this way. 
and then stretch your legs out again. Okay? So now you can get over so you're away from the blankets. You can move the blankets off to the side. Come to the hands and knees. Tuck your toes under. So now you're going to come up into downward facing duck. So lift up tall through your hips. Head down, hips up. And just stretch the arms and legs. This should feel good to really press the hands, press the feet, stretch the arms and legs. And then come back down to the knees and sit back. So now my big toes are together. You can see that my feet are together. So touch your big toes together and let your knees be wide. And then come down so you can rest your head right on the floor. If your head doesn't reach the floor, you can always put a blanket there. Stretch your arms forward and rest your head. Now even rest your arms on the floor. So instead of stretching the arms out, we're just resting the arms on the floor. Let your shoulders relax a little. And again, you always want to kind of pay attention to your breathing. So you're breathing slowly and evenly. And then walk your hands back. And sit up. So we're going to... Again, put our blankets down on the floor and get your chair. So I'm going to get my bigger chair and I'm going to get one more blanket and put the blanket right on my chair. So you can do that too, or even a pillow on the chair, something to make it soft. Okay? And then slide your legs either under the chair or around the chair and stretch your arms up. And reach forward and then rest your head right on your arms or right on the chair. And if it's too much of a stretch, you can always fold your blanket or add another a pillow or something and just rest your shoulders, rest your head and close your eyes. And just be still, stretching forward. Letting your brain just kind of quiet down, settle down, so you're not thinking of all sorts of things. And then sit back up. We're going to take one of our legs back, so hold behind the knee, and just bring that leg back. Turn your foot, so the top of the foot and the knee are on the floor, and then turn toward the chair again. So this is a little bit of a twist. Raise your arms, come forward, you can hold the chair back or bring your arms right down to that cushion or pillow or blanket on the chair. Just rest your head. Each time you breathe out, let your shoulders relax. Let your belly relax. And then slowly come on up. Stretch your leg back out. We've got a cat here that's going to help me. And then bring your other leg back. So pull back gently behind the knee. Turn the foot so you're on the top of the foot. The knee reaches down. Stretch your arms up. And come forward again, right to your chair. Bring your hands down and rest your head. Again, you can always add a pillow or blanket. The important thing is to let your shoulders relax, let your eyes, your head relax, and let your belly relax. So if there's too much stretching and you can't settle in, then just make, make, your, uh, make your chair higher. You can always add another blanket or a pillow. And then slowly come back up. One more time, we're going to stretch with both of our legs under the chair or around the chair. So again, stretch your arms up, come forward, and then rest your head, rest your arms, rest your shoulders. Take a couple slightly deeper breaths in and out. 
In and out, just gently letting your breath move through your body. Again, relax your shoulders, keep your eyes closed, and just rest for a moment. And then you're going to sit up. We're going to do just a couple more things. I'm going to move my chair. Move my blankets here. So we're going to lay, if you have a space that you can lay with your legs straight up the wall, you're going to go to that space. So I'm going to kind of sit down. I've got a blanket for my head. I'm going to sit down, almost sit down on the wall. And then when I lay down, I can turn so my legs go straight up the wall. It can have a pillow or blanket under my head. So you can find a spot where you can lay like this. If you don't have a spot where you can lay by a wall, you can always lay with your legs on a chair and a blanket or pillow under your head. And laying like this with the legs up and the back flat on the floor, you can rest your belly, really let your belly settle down. It lays against the floor, your back is against the floor, eyes are closed, and just relax here for a moment. This is a great pose to do before you go to sleep. And you can stay in this anytime as long as you want. And then when you want to come out, just bend your knees and roll to the side. I'll show real quick, if you don't have a wall, I'll show how you can lay with your legs up on a chair. So you might want a cushion or pillow on the chair. And then you would lay on your back with your legs on the back of a ch on the chair seat. And that's really comfortable too. Arms just out at your sides, any comfortable position. And that's very restful and relaxing. And lets your belly soften and relax, lets your chest relax. And then to come out of this pose, you would just roll to the side as well and sit back up. And then our last pose is the one that we always end yoga with. So you're going to have one blanket for your head. And you can either lay on your belly or on your side or on your back. So however is most comfortable for you. You can lay right on your belly, your arms out to the sides, or lay on your side. Just make sure you have something comfortable for your head. Or you can lay flat on your back. However, it's most comfortable and how you feel like you can really relax. Let your arms and legs sort of sink into the floor. Let them be heavy. Slowly breathe in and out. And again, let the breath come from your belly all the way up to your chest. And then from the chest back down to the belly. Come out of our last pose, bend your knees, place your feet on the floor. If you're on your belly, you can roll to your side. Then bring your hands to rest on your belly. Roll to your side. Just let your eyes open gently and slowly. So there's no rush, no hurry to go back to what you were doing before. And slowly sit up. You can sit on a blanket again if you'd like. And we'll start the finish the same way as we started. So sitting up tall, bring your hands together, close your eyes. Now bow your head down towards your heart, towards your hands. Namaste. Thank you. So anytime you're you're feeling 
Like you just need to settle down a little. You can always do it. You don't have to do all these poses. You can just do one of them. So pick your favorite and you can just, just settle down and relax. All right, have a great day.